I told you he was a Florida okay, so indigenous chief right of here. the this Mississippian Saxby culture. Holmes, Mississippian emperor from Florida. We know this information because the Met Museum did an entire article on identifying him. Okay, so let's take a look at the National Park Service, U.S. Department of Interiors. This is the archaeology program. Take a look at the timeline. 5,000 B.C. to 1,000 A.D. The first mounds in the southeast used mainly to bury the dead were probably constructed around 8,000 B.C. to 1,000 B.C. Okay, by around 800 A.D., a distinct way of life was developing in the lower delta. Okay, check this out. 1,000 to 1,200 A.D., everything is still cracking, untouched. No foreigners are coming in. We're not dealing with anybody outside. We're undisturbed. The whole way of life is still developing, still progressing. Everything is still cracking. Agricultural communities, I mean, storehouses of crops that are being harvested, just totally in a powerful position, totally in a complete position of power, unlike those that are across the water that are coming from Europe, that are in desert lands in Africa. Okay, this is an oasis over here. Check this out, 1200 to 1400 A.D., What's happening in 1492 in Spain? Okay, the Moors are losing. But what's happening in the Mississippi? It's still cracking. Bountiful trade, social religious customs, super sophisticated. Okay, we got the mound builder of earthworks just taking off. All right, we have a, a southeastern ceremonial complex, which they call, call it that because it has a great connection and it's super similar to all of the religions that are going down into Mesoamerica, down into South America. 1400 to 1500 AD, it's still cracking, all right? It doesn't even end until the late 1600s. Satriona, this guy lived in 1562. Do you understand that? This guy lived in 1562. This is another king as well. Look, the whole timeline goes from 8,000 BC all the way up untouched to where we get early European contact. Okay, so what's happening in Spain when, when, or what's happening over here when, when 1492 was happening in Spain? We're cracking. We're not worried about that over here. All right. This is the history that we need to be hit to. Let's take a look at these early other civilizations. When we look at the history.com, what do they have? Mesopotamia, ancient America, ancient India, ancient China, ancient Peru, ancient Mesoamerica. They're not telling you about none of this, 8,000 BC. But then we have, these are the people right here. These are the Mississippians that they're talking about right here, 8,000 BC. I go to the earliest civilization timeline. They don't even have us on there, right? Isn't that a trip? Then I go and I look at when Jesus was born. Everybody is like all up on checking out the Bible. Look at this. This is 2 BCE. Jesus was supposedly born in 2 BCE. This is Jehovah's Witness.org. 2 BCE. And then we got, where's 2 BCE on the same one? 2 BCE. Way, like right up in here, but all this is cracking? Come on. When was Muhammad born? 571 five, AD? What? what? What's ancient Ethiopia? When does that start? 2 AD? What? 2 BCE for Jesus Christ, Muhammad, 571 AD, the Mississippians, 8,000 BCE. Come, what? And then you have all this history right here. You got the Moundville, like, look at, they, they tell us that they came over here and just wiped us out, right? But they obviously they showing us a ritual right here of us worshiping the sun. Check out the check out the guard, right? Check out the guard. This is the French. Y'all see the guards, right? What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? They wiped them out, or did we just like everything just changed because 
all this interaction was happening, look. What? These people? Come on.